Hi everyone, we are Books Are My Fandom, code name BAMP, and we are international book obsessed beasties. We love uh, young adult fantasy, sci fi, contemporaries, and so on, except that today's video is not about YA, it's about a middle grade book. Um, and that book is The Rat Prince by Bridget Hodder. I am Danny, I live in the UK, and I rated this book 3.5 stars. I'm Jamie, and I'm from Canada. Oops. And I rated the book three stars. <laughs> this video is the ninth in our series of BAMF reviews that we buddy read once a month, and then we discuss them. So today we're talking about the middle grade fantasy novel The Rat Prince by Bridget Potter, and the summary reads, Cinderella thinks she must work alone to save her noble family from the ruin and disgrace her stepmother has brought the Lancaster Manor. She has an ailing father, a sweet, innocent little stepsister, and dependent servants to protect from the wicked Wilhelmina, and no way to call attention to the plight unless she figures out how to attend the royal ball. But Cinderella knows nothing of the ancient pact between the House of Lancaster and the rats who live in the walls of her ancestral home. Nor is she aware that the sleek black rat she thinks is her pet is actually the rat prince, and she is not alone. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we're going to be talking about what we liked, what we disliked, and we're going to try our best not to spoil it for you. So, Jamie, what did you yeah. like? Um, so, to Danny's point, we're, there are some spoiler things that we're going to talk about, but we're going to um, like just be vague and then talk about them below the video if you go on to our website i couldn't think of the word there for a second we have a spoiler section in our review so we'll highlight that more so what i liked was that it was a pretty unique retelling of cinderella there was lots of different pieces from like the original story and what was like the unique twist because it says like twist right on the cover um that brought it together in like a really compelling way I don't know if you've ever seen the movie uh, Ever After with Drew Barrymore. Yes. Yeah. So Her name is Danielle. Of course I've seen it and I love it. Yes. One of my favorite movies. So it was, it was kind of like that to me, not in like plot terms, but in how they really explained like the Cinderella story origin sort of thing with like what we know versus what actually happened. So I, I really liked seeing like the new stuff. Um, I also liked that the rats were intelligent the entire time because it, it would have been kind of weird for me to have them be like magically intelligent when they became humans and everything happened at that one point in time. Uh, there was like, there was things that happened that were like different from the original story. So I don't want to be like too descriptive about them, but one of them was the evil stepmother. I really liked that she wasn't maybe as bad as she could have been, but like <laughs> she was still like bad. Like it was a bad scene. Okay. Like bad scene. Do not interact with this person, but she wasn't as bad as she could have been. And yeah, I like, there were a few people that needed help. Shall yeah. We say. <laughs> yeah. And then there was another character that it was like, Whoa, Whoa. And like, there was a twist that you like, I was like, what? And I, I, that was one of my status updates was literally what <laughs> on Goodreads. So that was, that was what I really liked in this one. Danny? Yeah. So, um, I agree with you. I really liked how it was unique. Um, yeah. I liked how the rats, like you said, they, they were intelligent, but they were very obviously rats. <laughs> they were, they had their own culture, their own politics, um, they had some disdain for humans because apparently we're stupid and ridiculous and, and also their obsession with food. <laughs> I think I would make such a good rat. <laughs> yeah. Well, like an intelligent rat. We shouldn't be just regular rats just running around. That would probably be a bad scene. Rats are supposed to be quite clever. They're just not very pretty. That's why I wouldn't get one because they creep me out. Except that this book, I think I actually wrote something on Twitter where I was like, I realized that I was kind of pining a little over the rat prince halfway through. <laughs> and I was like, I'm kind of in love with the rat. 
And that was a very strange moment for me. <laughs> it's like when um, you realize that you're in love with the lions from The Lion King or like Robin Hood in the animated movies. Okay, Robin Hood? <laughs> yeah, oh I my know. God, yes. <laughs> a rat. I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that was a really strange moment for me, but yeah. Oh, I also liked how their names were based on the food that they liked. So, yeah. I, Jamie, what would your food name be? Your rat name? I would be Lady Yogurt because you can look in my fridge right now and it's literally all yogurt. <laughs> That's all I have in my fridge other than my Brito for my water. It's just yogurt. <laughs> I'll snap you after. <laughs> I think... What about you? I was If I went with food, it would be Lady Chili Sticks. But now that you mentioned what's in your fridge, basically the only thing that's in my fridge at the moment, and I am very, very hungry because of this, yeah. is Coke Zero. So I guess I'd be Lady Coke Zero or Lady Coke. No, you sound like a drug. <laughs> Lady <Yes>. Coke Zero. <laughs> yeah. Lady CZ. There we go. I can't You're believe like, I just did that. <laughs> You're like a DJ now. You can start your own radio show. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I found myself, like, I, I read this, a lot of this on the train, and I found myself, like, going, if anyone knew what I was reading right now, it would be hilarious. But I was sitting there, I was like, you know when you're like in public and you're like, don't laugh out loud, don't laugh out loud, and or don't smile, and then you catch yourself like grinning, and you're like, what do people think of me right now? <laughs> but yeah, there were moments that I couldn't help but grin like an idiot. Um, and like I said, also, I swooned a little bit over the whole dashing rat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I also, like, what you said with um, the stepmother, she was quite crafty, and I have some respect for her, even though she's a horrible person. <laughs> um, it's like Cersei. So stupid. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> she's dodge, man, she's dodge, but, yeah, I don't know. well done. Is that Dodgy. like a British term? Oh, I was Danny like, term. Okay. I don't know where I picked it up. I just say that. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with yeah. that. <laughs> so I think now we should talk about what we weren't so keen on because there were yeah. a couple things. Because we we both rated it about three ish stars. You rated it three point five, but I think that's because you liked a bit more of like the romance than I did. I would say. Does that surprise brother. anybody? <laughs> the rat. I like the rat. Yeah. <laughs> I I wasn't like head over heels for the rat in case anybody wants to know. <laughs> so um but I thought the pacing was a bit off for this one. I had a really hard time figuring out when things were happening and it it was like over a period of maybe 3 or 4 days actually. This whole I book was I think it was actually longer. Was it? Cuz I I was like oh, this has to be like 3 days, I don't know. I think it was like several weeks okay well that did so not clearly come that didn't come across yeah like because it was like these things are happening and then like two Time days passes. later two days later there's a ball and I was like oh okay so it must have been like three days ago and then because like at one point she's like oh look my dad said I could get a dress and then they're like yeah but the dress is gonna take a month and the ball's tomorrow and i was like i'm so confused what just happened like when when is it right now what's happening yeah. so i i was really confused about the passage of time that was one of the really like that was the really like my real big struggle point um wow. other than other than like the insta love stuff that existed which is pretty common in fairy tales but it was is I'll talk about it in the spoiler section because yeah, it's a little um, weird. It's a little weird, yeah. But um, so on top of that, I felt like the fairy godmother aspect of this was kind of wasted. It kind of felt like convenience of solving problems. So when she first like comes in, she's like, "Ah ha ha! I'm going to do this for you," and, and like evilly kind of too. I was like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be a fan of the fairy godmother or not like is she a good person is she not a good person 
And then at the end, it was like, whoop, everything's fixed. Yeah. So I, eh. and I would have liked more with the glass slipper. I thought, um, I thought that was kind of like a big thing in the original fairy tale. And it was briefly mentioned in this. Like, they're like, oh, I like your slippers. And I'm like, oh, is that it? And she can run fast in the glass slippers, which doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. So I, I would have liked a little bit more about that. So that's why, that's why it's like three stars. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I agree with the, some of it felt a bit rushed, especially on Rose slash Cinderella's part. Um, so everything that happened on her end in terms of emotions happened in the space of a few hours, really. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that. It, it felt a little bit weird. I was sort of sitting there going, what? Really? Really? You're not a little bit, like, concerned about your feelings? <laughs> it, like, I understand that in the original fairy tale, they, like, dance together, and then they're super in love, blah, blah, blah. But it just felt really forced with this one, just because of certain contextual things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> also, okay, I, I kind of struggled with the rating though because some of it seemed almost too simplistic, too easy. But I don't know if that's just because it's middle grade and I can't. Yeah, I don't know. It some things almost read like, or like the plot could have been a YA in some ways. Except that it was held back by certain. I don't. I don't even know how to explain this. This it's could have like, been a YA book, but it was. It had the plot and the idea of a YA book to me, but it was written as a middle grade. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Yeah, yeah. Like the writing was more simplistic, not the plot itself. The plot was pretty complex, but the writing felt more. Yeah. Simplistic. Not that like that's a bad thing. It's just. That's what it was. Yeah. So it, I did struggle with rating this because of that, because I'm not, um, I don't read a lot of middle grade. But there was one thing that, where I initially rated it higher, but then I realized, actually, I really didn't like this one one specific thing. And that was the fact that Rose slash Cinderella did almost nothing. She spent a lot of time... Okay, so she was portrayed as being reserved and quiet, and she just went on and she did what she needed to, to be or to watch over her dad. But she didn't actually do anything to resolve the plot. Yeah, it was a she, very passive way of her protecting her dad. Yeah, she watched and waited. And she talked about how she wanted to do things. or And then she cries about wanting to go to the ball and so on. And meanwhile, all of the actual saving of the day comes down to um, Char, the, the rat prince. He... He's the one that scurries around organizing things. He's the one that gets rid of the big bad, that kind of thing. Yeah. He, he seemed to do all of the work whilst worrying about Cinderella. It is also weird to me that she's like, my dad's friends, but I'm going to send them letters and not just go try and visit them. Like, just leave the house, bro. Go yeah. someplace. I don't know. There was, there was know. things she could have done that she did not do. So I, I agree with you on that. But I, I didn't. I didn't really like her point of views anyway. So I was like, eh. yeah. I found myself like thinking, I want to read more of Char stuff. <laughs> but it, it was like that though. It was like eighteen pages of like Char, and then four pages of Cinderella. And I'm like, Meh. okay. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to really. It's just Care. to have, like, a human perspective. It's, it's almost like, even though it's a Cinderella retelling, it's almost like the story was 
and I hate it when people say this, but it's almost like it was written for a boy. <laughs> yeah, because I can see that. Because the, the guy was like the savior main character guy. Yeah, they're... He saved the day, he did it through, you know, literally fighting, but oh, he was merciful, and he was this big hero, and she sat around looking pretty, and she didn't like that people only liked her because she was pretty, but she didn't do much else. Yeah. So, <laughs> she, she wasn't really clever. She was caring, but, eh, I don't know. I was, I was disappointed by her, and I was also kind of disappointed with how easy a certain decision was at the end. Where I think like, at the end was very easy. The end was just, like, super nice bow wrapped at the yeah. end. And it Which was really is fine, fun. but... Like, it's, it's a middle grade, so I was yeah. anticipating it to be, like, an easy end. But it would have been nice to have a little bit more, I guess, contemplation? Yes. Yes, definitely. Some sort of, like, weighing of the pros and cons. Instead of the, like, three ticks thing. Yeah. Which, if you haven't read it, you'd be like, what does that mean? But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> man. It just, it just, I would have liked a bit more... And I would have liked, I don't know, a bit more development of, like, there was a side plot thing going on, and that sort of fell on my, fell on the plate all of a sudden. I wasn't expecting that as well. Um, so, yeah. What, what thing is that? The, where certain servants are allowed into the... Oh, yeah. Like, um, how did they get in? I don't like, know. Like, why would the guards let these people in? I don't understand. Yeah, no, it was just convenience <laughs> to have everybody in one place sort of thing. Yeah. But otherwise, I mean, like, I feel like I've been talking about how, oh, about lots of bad things, but I did actually enjoy the book. I did enjoy the process of reading. It's just after looking back going, eh. But I did, you know, sit there on the train going, oh, I should be, like, studying or something, but I was like, I've got to read the rap prints. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, going to my orientation, so <laughs> my MBA orientation, people there are supposed to be professional and stuff, and then I ask people, what are you reading? Do you read, do, what, what are you reading? And they're like, an autobiography of this person or fast food nation or whatever it's called, and I'm like, so, <laughs> I'm reading a middle grade fantasy book that's a retelling of Cinderella from the perspective of the rest. <laughs> but everyone was like, cool. I was like, yes. Yeah. We have been pretty critical, but it was actually pretty good. Like, it's not that it was a bad book. It's just, I think we're expecting something more because we're used to YA. Yeah. Um, I, and I... I mean, I would actually recommend it for the target audience. So actually, maybe I would, older. It, I would recommend it more for the target audience if Cinderella wasn't such a pushover. Well, I, there are some scenes that I was like, oh man, like I wouldn't let my like eight year old read this. Like, oh, I was thinking more like 10, 11. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like an yeah. older middle grade. So in case you didn't know, we started another blog <laughs> called oh, yeah. All the Time of Feminism. And it's all about romance from a feminist perspective. So if you want to sign up, we'll link to that below. And you can be a contributor and read romance novels and then write a review for us. I mean, it's also if you already read romance but have no place to put your reviews because they don't really belong on your blog then you can put it in our blog. Yeah, that too. Or if you are like, I've never read this before, so I want to yeah. join us. So we accept everyone as long as you're a feminist. Yes. And you're going to read a romance novel. Like, that's kind of a prerequisite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so... Um, that's a wrap. Thank you for yeah. tuning in to our video about The Rat Prince by Bridget Hodder. 
And for our next um, review, we're going to be doing or reading Clanless, yes, by Jennifer Jenkins, second book in a series that we both, 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 both love so much. Okay, yeah. see you next month. Bye. Bye. We love our young adults. Why? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I need to like not move. <laughs> I was so afraid that this was going to fall onto me, but I'm so glad that something fell on you. <laughs> I'm all red now.